Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. In this video, honey, we're going to talk about a alleged report that is saying that Kim Kardashian is saying she and Ye, they're still in communication and they still do talk. I don't know because, listen, Kim has been really funny on the internet lately and I don't know, but I have to say this, right? Because looking at the manner in which Kim was behaving at that Drake concert, it gave the sense that she was high, right? I don't know if she was high on her own frequency or some substance, because if you remember, she said that the first time she got married, she was high as a kite, right? So when you look back at that Drake clip, the manner in which Kim McCakes was acting like a groupie, you have to wonder at this point, was Kim Kardashian high? Because how is it that now that we're learning that Bianca Sensori, right? has power of attorney, um, Kim and Ye is still in communication. It's given the sense that Kim is trying to insert herself to give the impression that, oh, well, yes, I told Ye it was okay for him to add her. You know, we discussed it as a family because whenever Ye is making money moves, whenever Ye is doing well, they are a family, right? Have you guys observed this with Kim? But the moment that the media is trashing Ye, they are done with him. She refuses to be his cleanup crew. But here she is, always wanting to be that lens slicker, right? So when I saw the report, I'm sorry, I forgot the media outlet. I just quickly browsed through the article because... It's just pretty much predictable of what was going to be said in the article, right? So we know that Kanye, Kanye cares for her deeply, the four kids, the yada yada. We know the story. We've heard it so many times, right? And the thing is that we can always see these media outlets, they do report things that oftentimes are not directly um, coming from Kim. But because these things we've heard coming from her mouth, it is believable. So it is very much concerning that every time Ye is moving on with his life, if you guys remember when Ye was with Cheney, the reports are similar. The moment that Ye was seen with Cheney, the moment that Ye looked happy, you know, the report coming from Kim was that, yes, there are a family and he comes over for dinner and he was hoping that Pete would stay in um Australia, if you guys remember. Just imagine, you know, life is such a funny thing talking about that. Do you guys remember it was just last year that Pete was done on the filming and then he is now married to an Australian? Hmm. Some things are just always just coming back full circle, really giving like, you know, some things were just meant to be. And this is like giving the sense that Ye and Bianca was truly meant to be. You know how the universe tends to put two people together to conquer? Um, it's giving the sense that Ye and Bianca was truly put together to conquer right? Because it was after that Australia trip that um, when Kim went down to Australia that things ended between her and Pete and now Ye is married to an Australian. But let's get back to the story, right? Why is it that every time Ye has moved on, he's happy? And why is it that no, that reports that Bianca Sensori has power of attorney Kim is now coming out to use the media to say um, she is in a good place with Ye. They still communicate and they will always be family. But who throws their family member under the bus? Who teams up with their family member nemesis to insult him and consistently throw insults at him? Not only that, why would you be releasing a um marathon because what Kim went on was a crying marathon against Ye, right? 
she cried a white woman tears because she knows that um, it would have helped her family reality TV series. But when she was with Ye, she would often caution others how they respond to Ye, how they talk about Ye, because Ye has a mental condition. So it was never okay for anyone to say anything unpleasant about Ye or react to Ye. But the moment that she, you know, has been divorced from this man, she could monetize his pain, his trauma. And she was not careful or considering about his mental health because for Kim, it is money first as always. Money first, everything else after. So after you've monetized this man's pain and trauma, cried your white woman tears and told the world that you refuse to be his cleanup crew, know that he's doing well, know that he's coming back with an album, know that you've learned that his wife has gained power of attorney, you are a family again, right? I have to say, if Ye is cordial towards you, that's cool because you guys have four kids together. And at some point in time, you will definitely need to communicate for the sake of your kids. But if Ye is looking to you as a friend, as someone who cares about him, and as someone who has always cared about him, I have to say, you know, by this time, Ye's eyes should be open. And if it's not, he's totally blind. And you did, in fact, put a spell on him. And that spell is still there because we can't call Ye a fool. Based on everything that happened to Ye and the mere fact that he's able to make a comeback, that man is no one's fool. And for someone to create a brand like Yeezy's, by no means, shape, or form, is that individual a fool or can ever be considered a fool? So if Ye is looking at Kim as a family member, as a friend, and they're still close and they're still buddy-buddy and he's still cordial towards her after everything that she's done, Kim has a spell on this man and someone needs to conjure up some juju or something to get this cleared off this man because it means that Ye would be trapped on the Kim's spell and when he went to <laughs> 80, you know, and they told him that they removed it. It didn't work. But we also saw year two in Jamaica, right? And you know, they say, if it doesn't work in Haiti, it has to work in Jamaica. So you're telling me that Kim is using some high power voodoo witchcraft shit on ye that this man is so bounded by your spell that you're gonna trash him you're gonna dog him you're gonna throw him onto the bus you're gonna team up with his nemesis drake and after all of that you all still good like at this point i want to ask ye do you need someone to help you because guess what we will put out a petition on the internet for you saying that you need someone to conjure up some juju to get you freed from Kim's spell because this has to be some high level witchcraft voodoo shit if you ask me if Ye is still good with Kim. And why is it that this report is now coming out now that Bianca Sensori has taken financial reins of Ye's businesses. It's definitely given. Kim is desperate to be seen. She's desperate to be heard. But I have to ask the question, Ye, is it true? Because we need to know so that we can start praying, we can start fasting, we can start jujuing because that ish would not be normal at all. But guys, I need you guys to come in because this is just too much. One of two things is happening here. Either what Kim is saying is factual or it's a lie and she's using the media to perpetrate this lie. So I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what are your thoughts and guess what? Let's start to some prayers for you. Okay? And give this video a big thumbs up. See you all next time. Bye guys.